Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Have another tool review of a torque screwdriver today. Now yesterday I just did a review for my Capri Tools 10 to 50 inch pound screwdriver. Mentioned in that video about how according to code we should be torquing things like receptacles, switches, breakers, things in panels, all those devices. We should be torquing those to a manufacturer's desired torque spec. Uh, now that means you have to have the tool to do so. So I mentioned in that review also that I had purchased a Vera. I got a phenomenal deal on eBay for one, and I went ahead and pulled the trigger on that. So this one is the Vera 7446 ESD 11 to 29 inch pound screwdriver. So this one's gonna run you about $130 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. I got this shipped to my door for $25. So I was tickled to death when I saw it. I decided, man, I've got to pull the trigger on that. Even though I just purchased another one for $125, this one is going to serve a, another purpose for me because the inch pounds is different. So 10 to 50 inch pounds on that Capri Tools, well, that would let me do receptacles and things like that that's typically in that teen range, somewhere between 12 and 18. And then if you get into those breakers, as I showed in that video, anything from 10 to 20 amps is 36, and then it still gives me a little bit more range to go up to 50. Well, this one only does 11 to 29. So what this will handle for me is any of my devices, anything like a receptacle and a switch and all those sorts of things. And it's no different really once we get it out of the package. I have the screwdriver and I also got the certificate of compliance or the certificate of, of calibration. So I got that included with it as well if the inspector was to ask for that. And again, I don't know if, if in my area I will see that very soon, but uh, it doesn't look a lot different at face value than your standard Vera screwdriver with the Rapidor attachment on it. Uh, it does take any quarter inch bit, uh, similar to the Capri tools. That is nice, I'm glad, because then if, again, I don't have to worry about damaging bits or I can change that out if I'm working on something that takes something else beside the bit you know, that I, that I have in, I can just easily swap those. I've got bits galore. Uh, it's about six inches in length. And again, it feels just the same as any other Vera screwdriver that I have. I like the feel of it. I love the handle. These are probably my favorite handle screwdrivers. I used to be a big Klein person and I, I still am. Klein is kind of nostalgic to me. I'm so used to using their screwdrivers, but man, these, these Vera's got a nice grip on them. And basically this screwdriver is the size of my hand with the, the bit sticking out. That's gonna give me great leverage uh, to be able to work on these devices and things like that. So as far as how you adjust this, because again, that's mainly why I'm shooting this video to show you, because again, as I have researched torque screwdrivers, that is the hardest thing for me able to start, to be able to tell how do you really adjust that? Or what does it do once you reach your torque value? Because unless you can find a video on these screwdrivers, it's, it's hard to see that. And if you're gonna spend over $100, close to $200 for some of these on a screwdriver, you'd kind of like to know if it's gonna work the way that you want it to whenever you, you get it. Uh, this one is very simple. Let me zoom in so I can show you how you adjust this. So you can see the inch pounds here. Uh, odd is on one side even is on the other and it's basically where this arrow is right now i'm in 14 so if you pull this down just the same as you would if you'd pull the bit down to get the bit out slide this down if you go counterclockwise you're going to go backwards so right now i'm on 13 and it locks in place on each side as you turn around you'll you'll feel it kind of lock in right now i'm on 12 and again if i go back i go all the way down to 11 then if I go clockwise, I'm going to go up to 12, 13, 14, and then it locks into place once you once you move that lever, it doesn't change anymore. Uh, so again, very easy. I really, really like that. Uh, no extra tool required. I really like that. So again, I think if the Vera insulated screwdrivers work in this same way, and again, if you've got those, I know some of you guys do, is this how you adjust the Vera insulated screwdrivers as well because the Weeha you have to have an extra tool and that's not a deal breaker for me uh, but it's nice to not to have to have it why would you want to have that if you don't have to now the only downside to some of the Vera screwdrivers is they're not in inch pounds they're in the the newton meters or whatever however it is that you say that uh, 
So that's also not a deal breaker necessarily because you can easily just pull up a chart on your phone. And then once you start using your devices and the breakers, they're all gonna be the same value typically every time you go. So once you have that number memorized in your head, you're not gonna constantly have to sit there and reference something every time that you install something. Now, as far as whenever you actually use it on a device, uh, you can tell that once you get close to the torque value, let me tighten this down to where it's kind of tight. As I get to that torque value, the screwdriver is going to slip very similar to the Capri tools and you're gonna get a click. The bit doesn't keep turning, but the screwdriver does. And the click on this is much more audible than that of the Capri tools. And it just feels better too. The, other, the Capri tools doesn't feel bad, but I can tell the difference between this Vera and that Capri tools. It just feels like it's a more significant way of letting you know, yeah, you for sure reached it. Yeah, it doesn't feel more like a slippage. It feels more like a, hey, you're there. You can stop turning now. Uh, very easy, very nice. So again, that's the Vera 7446 ESD, but basically I would think any Vera torque screwdriver with a variable adjustment because they have some that are variable and that's what this is. And then they also have some that are fixed where it's a certain torque value. There's no adjustment on it whatsoever. So that would be something if you have some sort of repetitive task that is over and over again, the same exact torque value, you would buy that kind of screwdriver, maybe like on an assembly line or, or something like that. But I just wanted to show you how this one adjusts. Uh, how how you know that you're at the torque value and again I think this is going to work great just to put in my bag so whenever I'm going around and I'm doing the uh, trim outs I'm installing devices there's no different to me of using this screwdriver because a lot of people are going to say well I'm not going to spend the time to sit there and torque down every screw on every receptacle and every switch. While I normally use a screwdriver now to do that, that looks very similar to this. There's no difference of me using this in my hand or using another screwdriver, except for I know that I've got it tightened down to what the manufacturer suggests, and they know better than me because I didn't build this product they know what's best, so I'm going to pay attention to that. And again, I think as if, we, if we're if we all professionals, uh, again, I know that the big thing, the big reason why someone wouldn't do it is bottom line is the price tag. And I can understand that. $130 for a screwdriver, I mean, I can, I can buy several more of those tools right there for $130. But if you're a professional, you should always be seeking to do what you need to do in the best way Make it the safest way for your customer. Give them the best quality job that you can do. I think it's an investment. Uh, I think it's a great tool to have. And again, it's something that you need to be doing in order to be code compliant. Uh, I know some people might hate that I say that, but the bottom line is it is what it is. There's nothing that I can do about it. They make the rules. I just have to follow them. But again, let me know what you think about this one. I, I think it's a, a great screwdriver. I love the way it adjusts. I love the way that it works. I love the size of it. There's nothing bad about this screwdriver. Maybe I'm just loving it even more because I got such a great deal on it. But I think that if you're looking for a torque screwdriver, a standard one to use for things like this, I think this might be the way for you to go. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, and again, if you've got Vera insulated screwdrivers that are variable adjustments, is this basically how it works? I'm interested to know that as well. Hope all is well with you. I hope that you stay safe and have a blessed day. See you guys on the next video.